Hello. I am going to scrapbook a picture of my second oldest granddaughter and she is baking. I had to mark my spot otherwise I'd be off the out of the screen all the time. Um, she is baking. It looks like cupcakes. I guess I'll have to find out later because I didn't find out when I got sent the picture. And this is Tegan and she's got on a cute little yellow apron. So I thought I'd kind of show you today how I um, go about picking out what I'm going to use. Now it's, every time I thought about this picture I kept thinking of this kit and it's Echo Park Happiness is Homemade. So it's like this was in my mind so I already decided I'm going to use this. And um, I was thinking, oh, it'd be so cute to have her on something yellow, but let me kind of go through the papers. And, and I, oh, previously, I think I have two sets of these, but previously I had kept this little apron out for my, my, well, she's kind of, I guess she's one of the middle granddaughters. There's two middle ones. This one and the other one. <laughs> One of the twins and so I've already used some of these things here and so this is what it looked like before I started cutting it and so I have one is on the back cover and then one comes inside so somewhere I, I must have another one of these unless I use this I may have used that and this one it says a dash a half a cup so it's like measurements, whisk, glaze, different things. So it's a real pretty paper. They're all pretty papers. And this one has all the utensils and on this side it's a floral pattern. It looks like a, maybe a kitchen wallpaper or floor. And then this is a horizontal stripe and over here it's got a beater or I think that's what they always call it. <laughs> Does it have it called on here what it is? Uh, no, it just says, it says pastry stripes. Okay. And then this pretty gingham. Oh, and this is where I kind of started looking, like those ones, um, she's making cupcakes, so I really thought none of the, I didn't want to use any of those, it was just too busy. So then I was putting her on here, and it's like, okay, that's, felt like that was just a little too pink. And, but that, that was a contender. And then here's all the utensils and the little, and there is a yellow apron, so I figured I'd cut that out. And then there's one wood grain and the recipe cards. And I must use that because there's only one of those now that I could tell. And this one has um, all the little strips and coffee cups or tea cups and teapots. And so that's the same one again. This one is a blue dot. And so this is a contender too. But I think I kind of like the plaid better than this. This is almost a little too much blue. And then on this side, it looks like this. And I was thinking about yellow, but I really wouldn't want it on this because um, she's making cupcakes, not tea. And I kind of like this. So, I mean, there's one thing. It's like our family, they're very pale. <laughs> and she gets that from me. And so it's like, sometimes it's like we don't look best on just any old color. And definitely not that. I, I did use this for the other granddaughter because she loves pink. And so then I was really thinking about putting her on here, but this just made her look almost yellow herself. So I, because that's the one I was like really going for that. And so I end up deciding against that. And this is where they've got the canisters. And this kind of looks like a kitchen wallpaper. And I might have used one of these in the other one too. 
So anyhow, I ended up deciding on the one that I don't see here. What did I do with it? <laughs> don't tell me I walked out of the room and left it. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, it was here. I just, um, one of the um, pages I worked on the other day, one of the letters fell off and I had to glue it on. Okay, so this has the utensils on one side. And then this is the side I decided to use. And it's like the blue looks good. And then it's also got that little bit of yellow. So this is what I decided on. And it doesn't make her look too too washed out. I mean, we're, we're still just pale people. <laughs> and um, so I really like that. And now I know it's going to be hard to see, but I am using a white paper wood behind there. And I'm not sure what this is. It must have been in a paper pack. And so I've trimmed this down already. And I think I cut the, the, um, the branding strip off it previously because I was going to use it for something else and then decided against it. So I've already cut this down three eighths of an inch on two sides. So I'm going to put that there. And so I'm going to go ahead and do this because it shouldn't really take too long. Um, it's like the, the plan's pretty easy. And so I'm just kind of lining it up. And that looks like the spot. Okay. And so then I am going to use this because I really want this yellow on here. It just couldn't be like up against so close to her face. And so I am going to put that at the bottom. And this page here that I was actually going to just cut this out, um, when I was looking through them, I had cut this for some other reason, probably because I was cutting out um, different things off here. But um, I just kind of laid it here, and I thought, oh, that's, that's it. <laughs> and so I'm going to use the yellow gingham up here and lay this in the center and then put her to one side on the doily. So let me line that up, and I think it's probably about here because I do have some stuff going on down here, so I, I don't want it too far to the bottom but not too far to the top. Okay. And I'm going to run these right over the wood paper. I sometimes like to do that. And then stick this here. I love this set. It's just adorable. Okay. And I think both times I found it at Tuesday morning. I was like, oh my gosh, I was looking for that. So I was quite excited to find it. Okay, I think I'm just lining it up on the plaid. Okay, and then I'm going to tuck this underneath. And I'm just going to put it down a couple of, so like three are on the top. I'm always having people text me. <laughs> okay, so that's it for there. And I'm gonna use a doily. And I almost did laid the whole thing out and thought, forgot the doily. 
and it's like if you're doing a kitchen layout I just think you need to have a doily <laughs> especially when you got a little I mean a young cook just looks so cute she's 12 in this photo and let's see Friday she'll be 13 oh my gosh can't believe how old my grandkids are getting my mom would say put a brick on her head <laughs> So I'm already going to put her picture down. I'm going to put, um, I kind of want to put a slant, but maybe not. Okay, so I think I'm going to, I'm just going to run her straight up and down. It's hard to decide. <laughs> okay. And then, um, I have, oh, I actually have the piece that I cut off, I'm going to put it right here. Janet from RTS Scrapbooking, she would sometimes do that, and I thought, oh, that's neat, because it kind of gives, you know, it's like it's not like any thicker, but it kind of gives dimension. So I am going to do that, kind of run it about here I'll just get it straight and hopefully my head's not in the camera okay and then I have this little piece and these it's like all these were actually cut the size that they are except for this one here just put a little tape on this and I'm gonna slide it underneath here and you know I'll um, glue it all to make it perfect later or to make it so it's not you know popped up here and there I thought this was cute and it was just like that little leftover piece it's like why not use it okay and I have this little thing that I think is really cute, but it doesn't have anything written on it. And I don't really like this like it is, but that's the one I want to use. So I'm actually going to tape it right on top of it. Because then I like it. Otherwise it was kind of, it was bland. It looked like it needed a frame. So I'm going to put that right down at the bottom of her picture because it says cute as a cupcake. And that's our Tegan. She's cute as a cupcake. Actually, she's cuter, cuter than a cupcake, but this is a cute saying. Okay, so I'm going to put that right there. And then this, I'm going to let this be my title, Happiness is Homemade. I like it that we got cooks in the family. I didn't want to be the only one. <laughs> when people say, what do you do? I always say, well, I make stuff. I make dinner. I make lunch. <laughs> I make scrapbooks. I make jewelry. I make flair. It's like... I used to just spend my whole day making stuff. <laughs> it starts with breakfast. Okay, so I am going to stick that down as my title. And I'm trying not to cover up the yellow apron since that's her color. Okay, and I better do this because otherwise I'll probably be regretting that. <laughs> okay. And again, I'm going to um, kind of stick it between the pink and the yellow. And it 
will be just touching that top one a little bit. Actually, it touches the pink and the yellow just a little bit. So I think that's perfect. And I've got this little thing, this little tab that says ingredients. And I really want to use one of the ones I made, but um, since I've got everything here that's so busy, I figured I better keep it um, simple. And oh, and I've got this little brad here that says top notch. So I'm going to use that. I hope you can see that. And that, so it looks like it's award winning. She made quiche too and everything. She made quiche for Mother's Day, so that was really cute. And I'm going to put this right um, under here, so it's kind of next to her. And which one did I pick the other day? Because this is another one that's kind of big bread. So I think I'll start here and hopefully that's close enough to where it needs to be. Because I don't want to cover up too much of the picture. And what oh, kind of wants to pop out? Hmm, I have to deal with the little ribbon too. That's kind of a little harder. <laughs> Okay, there it is. Okay, top notch. Okay. Am I still in? Oh, now it's like. Oh, it's because I got that other thing. Okay, there we go. Um, I have my two. I've got two things here. That's not helpful. <laughs> okay. And I've got these wooden embellishments I'm going to put on here, but I better do my brads first. But So I'm going to probably have to figure out where my brad is going. I've got one red one that is going to go over here by the little wooden mixer. Are these cute? I got those at Tuesday mornings too. Tuesday morning. Okay, and I think... I'm going to be right here, probably right in the middle of this little pink apron. Oh, I don't have this for this. Okay, I'm going to just kind of stick it right to the right of the apron because I'm going to have the little mixer up on this label that is acting as my title. And this is cute. It looks like a little tablecloth. It's actually, um, it's almost what? It's almost, or it is 7 o'clock p.m. here. So it's like it's a little later than when I usually do these. But I've been busy all day and I want to get one done. So, because it's my goal is to keep up on this channel. <laughs> so, okay. And then I've got a little just a little tiny pink one and I better just use a little poker for this because it's pretty small and I'm going to stick that right here on this other side by the yellow one okay Wow, I almost got them in a straight line. <laughs> That's unusual. Okay, so I've got that there. And then I've got, let me put the little wooden thing, items on here. So I've got a cupcake here, since that's what she's making. So I am just going to glue it up, if I can hold on to it. <laughs> okay. 
and I'm going to put it right here by where it says cute as a cupcake. Okay, and then I've got this little, looks like a burlap bow, and I usually pull all the glue off, and yep, so I, that's what I did now too. <laughs> no different. Okay, and I'm just going to stick this right here by the cupcake. Okay, so both those are glued on, and you can still read where it says cupcake. Okay, that's good. And then I've got the little wooden mixer. And I don't, I don't even know if it said on these wood veneers who the company was that made them. But if it did, I will um, write it down on the bottom. But I thought they were adorable. It was the first time I had ever seen them in person. So I was pretty excited to get them. And then I've got a wooden spoon. And I think, well, I kind of want it up here by the ingredients, maybe like that, just kind of overlapping the picture a little bit. So I'm doing the visual triangle. And even though this is wood, I mean, it's like paper, it will, it will glue pretty quick. Maybe a little bit longer on the photo. And what else do I have? Oh, I've got um, I've got some enamel dots I'm going to put on here. And I was kind of thinking about these blue ones, but now I can see they're way off in color. And so is that one. Huh, it's kind of like a bluish green. The paper is, I didn't realize that. Okay, do I have a yellow? Because I don't think I have a bluish green, really. I might just use white. Or the off-white. Yeah, I guess I'll have to do that. I think this white should be good. I need to get some yellow ones because I was trying to do more of the yellow for her with her outfit, or with her apron. Guess it's not really her outfit. <laughs> Excuse me, she looks so much like little Susie Homemaker. Okay. So, oh, we do have red ones, but I don't think I wanna do those. I'm just gonna do these they kind of look like frosting so I'll put a few up here I've got three things going on right there now so I think I will do just two to keep it five I've got three things there too so I'll just do two again Okay, and I've got two things right there. I'm not really counting this one over here in my whole scheme of things. So I am going to do three in this area. Oops, I totally. Okay, so there we go. And then I've got these craft colored photo corners and I'm gonna stick these right up here. And this is one reason why I don't like to glue everything down because I get done and I think, oh, that'd have been so cute with, with something tucked in here or a photo corner there and then it's like the next thing I know it's like, I'm trying to rip up the corner trying to put something on there. So. And then once I find out what she was cooking, I'll do some journaling on it. But 
that's our page for today. And I want to thank you for joining me. And um, please like and subscribe. And I will put stills and close-ups at the end. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye-bye.